Hey there, DIYers. So today we're going to be doing a review and an unboxing of the uh, Flumax 2-in-1 brush cutter string trimmer. I got it for 160 bucks uh, with free shipping, um, so I got the uh, I got like what was 10% discount for my military uh, uh, service, so got it a little cheaper than what most people can get it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started, get this thing unboxed, and uh, see what we got. Yes, just dropped this off not more than 10 minutes ago. So, uh, let's see what we got in here. Container, a guard shield, a stringer, sorry, the harness, and here's my brush cutter blade. This is the one I was looking for. This is the uh, thing I'm going to go through and cut a lot of my uh, briar and blackberry that I got down my path. So this is the uh, sharpened on both sides so you can use it on one side until it gets dull flip it over use that and then you just sharpen it back up with a file or a, um, whatever tool you have for being able to sharpen that with so one thing I uh, did some research on the different weed eaters and I, I decided to go with a little beefier engine I think most weed eaters are like 25 26 cc this one is a what is it? It's like a 46, or it's a 42.7 cc, I think that's what it says. I don't have my glasses on so I can't see too good. Anyway, um, I went with a beefier engine so it would be a little more robust, especially with all the brush that i got to go through. So, uh, don't have to worry about that. So this comes with a nice handle, it's supposedly to help reduce vibration but you also have more control being able to put it where you want it without too much effort and also the fact that it's got the harness man I tell you after a day of uh, weed eating down the trail just by holding one it really makes your arm tired uh, anyway so this is a straight shaft goes down so it's not so bad the straight shaft the advantage of that is to be able to get under uh, brush a lot, a lot easier. And you got just a little, a little bit longer reach. So that's everything in the box. So now, let's see about putting this thing together. Some kind of a safety precaution. Who reads those? And like most people, most uh, DIYers anyway, um, the instruction manual. Like you don't read that, right? You just you look at it, you figure it out on your own, and if you can't figure something out, then you look. But at least that's how I am. So, anyhow. So, with this being here, I guess you could just get different uh, attachments like this. But with the way this is, you're either going to attach this, you can quickly detach it, and then put it on your stringer. So, I'm, for this uh, test, I'm actually going to be putting on the blade to see what it does, uh, going through some different briar. So, just before I put that on, I'll go ahead and put the blade on. And so, I need one of my tools in here. So for this, you could either use an Allen wrench or this spark plug slash um, tightener on, the, on this end. So it's two in one, the spark plug and the uh, end piece here. 
So, I don't know if you can see here. There is, inside there is a uh, slot. So what you have to do is put the, uh, your tool in that slot to hold it in place while you tighten or untighten this nut. I guess I'll have to use the on wrench since I need this to untighten that. I guess there's a slot right there. So I'll get that in there like that. And I can just loosen this up. Oh, and this is the in the weed eater because of the way it spins. To tighten is left and to loosen is right clockwise. So normal is righty tighty, lefty loosey. This is lefty tighty, righty loosey. Just gotta move backwards. Alright. So looks like it's got a nice piece that washer there. So this can pretty much set on there. Again, you can put it on either way because of the way the blades are uh, sharpened both ways. So with this, you'll put this on. Let me get you a close up. So here you can see that fits right in there. There's no play on that. And you got this little retaining washer here. Put that on there. I've seen someone put that on like that, but nope, that's wrong. You put it on like that, so it's going to cover up. Right. Go ahead and put the washer on. And again, it's a righty, righty, loosey, lefty, lefty, tidy, righty, loosey. Yep. All right. So here, put that in there. Spin that until I get to the hole. So now that's locked in. I can use this. Turn this to the left until it's tight. Ow. It doesn't have to be super tight, just, I don't know, I'm putting maybe 30 pounds of pressure on that. But it's nice and tight now, so that's free spinning on that. Tools, at least that one. Okay, I need these other two tools to put my handle on and all that good stuff. So I think we gotta loosen this up. Allow that to go in. And as this rotates, you can spin it until this. Rotate until this little, uh, there's a, let me pull this up. You see that notch there? That'll line up to this little mechanism that'll set in there and hold that in place. So once you get that set in place like so, and you just tighten the yellow handle down. So that's all nice and tucked in there good. Alright, and let's see, for this, I guess we'll want to go ahead and put on the safety guard, um, especially with this, this tool. So, so there's a couple of uh, Allen screws there to hold that down, so I'll pull these out all the way.
Yeah, I just ordered this yesterday and it got here today, so um, kudos to Home Depot and their shipping. Plus the fact it was free shipping. Can't can't pass that up. Let's uh, take anything with free shipping. It sure beats driving a half hour to the store to get it. So definitely definitely bonus there. Let's see, now I need to put this handle on. The handle goes like so. Looks like that's a smaller Allen wrench. Yep. Dang. Insects flying all over around here. Compresses the tube a little, it pinches it pretty good, so it in fact locks it in place. And there's no way it's going to rotate. Like even now, I don't have it fully tight, it's not going to rotate. Just keep it, force it. So now, where that is, so that feels pretty good. And my arms, I guess you don't want it fully extended, but then probably a little bit of a bend. And then you literally, you're just rotating this off of your hip. Yeah, go ahead and put the harness on. As I know with all the, being a, a bigger engine, it's got more weight to it. So it definitely, uh, definitely makes it so that it's uh, going to put a little more, uh, more stress on the, Arms. Okay, so get that on there. Oops, got some adjustment on the harness. Definitely, this thing for really tall people. So, shorten this up quite a bit. Yeah, how about that? Look at that. Now it's like, while it's putting, you know, some, some uh, stress on my shoulder, I guess the combination between holding it with your hands and your shoulder, you've overall got a lot more support. And I guess where that's, that's balanced, it's, uh, I guess you can kind of, you can adjust that too, so you can pretty much make that so that it's, it's balanced, but I tell you, with, with just a barely little bit of weight of it being forward, it makes so you really don't have to do much strain at all. This is literally very, very comfortable. So, um, yeah. That's, that's, this is gonna, this is gonna be nice. Let me go ahead and tighten this up because this feels, this feels comfortable right here. Let me go ahead and get that tightened up. Happy with the position of the handle, so that works for me. Don't crank down. I think what's going on? Yeah, I think we're about ready to go. Yeah. Let's see, so the premix on this was uh, 50 to 1. But man, I've found on all my Q-cycles, they'll run fine anywhere from 32 to 1 to 50 to 1. So, uh, I think I just eyeballed this one. This is probably more like 40 to 1. I have a pretty pretty sizable tank. I think this is a uh, have to look. 
it was medium medium size from the uh, ratings I've seen for the different uh, size tanks. So got the little uh, lanyard there on the cap, so you don't lose the cap. That's always nice. So. It has 113 decibels, so you definitely want to use air protection when you're running it. And, uh, anyway, so just get this puppy primed, see where the primer is. Oh, there's a primer bulb. Right here underneath, if you can see it. Alright, this thing wanted to rotate and follow me. So it's right here from the gas cap inside there's a primer bulb right there. You see the gas going into the carburetor tube. So now I got the bulb, bulb's full. I give it one extra squish. So now put the choke up. Turn it on. It's got an on and off switch. So most of them is uh, just as like a spring loaded um, off where it's always on. This one's got a switch, so <laughs> make sure that's on. Prime here. Follow me down here. We've well, got some uh, brush that definitely uh, could use some trimming. Uh, so let's set you right here. Okay, tell you what, I mean, uh, actually you're fine like that, you good? Alright, so. move you up just slightly, okay. So safety first. I'm gonna wear safety glasses. I'm gonna wear gloves just to protect my hands from getting callus. I'm gonna do this thing at start. Make sure I'm on. That's gonna get me, man. Make sure it's on. 
She's sitting there pulling like crazy trying to get the start. like this out with no problem. I mean, it just, just cuts through like butter. Um, again, all this other green stuff, just it just bites through it like nothing. It's, like it's not so good for cutting the grass itself. It kind of brushes it over, but it does cut. You get right on it. Um, but yeah, it does did a nice job of clearing this uh, heavy brush stuff. So it's cutting through that limb like, like nothing. So um, definitely good there does feel like I need to be a little more downward heavy as far as balance so I got to move my strap up just a bit looks like there's only like an inch left there because the foam's in the way so I may actually have to um, cut some of that foam off or just move it up a bit but uh, other than that this thing is uh, looks like it's a beast for uh, getting through this brush way better than a standard weed eater and again with that extra uh, 20 cc's or so of, uh, of engine there. It's a 42.7 cc. It's got the extra punch to be able to get through this. And uh, yeah, so far, thumbs up. Yeah.